Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Susan Lynn. I'm a psychic and a medium, and I do videos here on YouTube on a wide variety of subjects. I talk to my spirit guides on the daily, and they influence to a great degree what kind of videos that I do here. Uh, this morning, my spirit guides are very much connected to me and giving me a, a fire hose of information regarding our economy. Um, I'm going to say, I they're just telling me that I'm going to broaden as if I couldn't, I, it's a lot of information. I was really gonna focus on the United States, but now they want me to kind of broaden my focus because um, I have a lot of viewers from different areas of the world. And um, I am going to be talking a lot about the United States, but there's gonna be some things that are gonna be pertinent and relevant and important for you as a human being in this world. Okay, that's a big statement, but I gotta tell you, um, they literally is like a fire hose of information and I'm going to try to, to um, narrow it down and hopefully it will make sense to you guys, okay? Because my goal with this channel is to help you, right? Every video I do is really, my intention is to help you, so, this is my intention right now. So let me start off by saying that um, in the United States, the Dow had um, had a record day yesterday. Today just happens to be the 5th of January, 2022. This video is for you no matter when you watch it because these trends are going to be going on for five years. They just told me. So doesn't matter when you watch it. It's for you. Pick out the things that, that resonate with you, okay? That's any video, right? Pick out the things that resonate with you um, and use them to your best advantage. So the the Dow uh, doubled yesterday. Uh, it, I mean, it, it, the Dow had a record day yesterday. It's actually opening very strong today. Now, that is because our jobs doubled. The job number that um, the Fed thought that we would... Um, the new jobs that the Fed thought that we would add in December came in double. Now this is from ADP, which is a private payroll processing company, uh, but they have become the go-to standard rule for us gauging how many jobs are out there. Uh, the Fed is going to have their official numbers in a few days. But, but basically, look, the Dow is acting as if uh, it won the World Series, right? It, it's it's surging right now because there's hope on the horizon, right? So let's talk about a few things. Um, I'm going to be guided while I'm doing this video. They're bringing me back to uh, the sort of the um, details of this thing. If you're a worker, um, okay, if you're a worker anywhere in the world, okay, for real, they're telling me, that investments that you make in yourself will pay off double and triple. Take that to the bank and deposit it, okay? Investments you make in yourself will double and triple. What does that mean? Well, first of all, especially in the United States, it doesn't mean go out to one of these loan shark schools. Yes, I said loan shark schools and basically give them your kidney for some education that may or may not make you any more money. That is not at all what the guides are saying. Actually, what they're saying is to improve your skill set. If um, what they're telling me is this is the time to jump up the rungs of the ladder. So, you know, um, if you want to get a four year degree, by all means, get a four year degree. If you want to get some sort of certificate, by all means, get a certificate. But I need to warn you that those things are gonna start changing, that next year and also in 2023, the government is gonna go after these loan shark schools and they're going to start losing their accreditation. So be very careful about whom you get your schooling from. Go to a community college. They're not gonna lose their accreditation. They're going to help you. They have programs in place, okay? Please avoid these for-profit schools. It's, it's, a, it's, not, the, it's not in your best interest for-profit schools are not in your best interest, okay? Now, what are they talking about? We, we really, what they're talking about is the average worker bee um, bringing their skill set up one rung. This could mean 
getting a certification in a new software. This could be getting a certification in a new skill set. What do you do in your job that adding a skill set would either A, get you a raise and a promotion, or B, make you more attractive to another company? That is one thing they're talking about. Just one thing, okay? Just one. There's more. Number two, just being a living, breathing human that goes to work every day makes you uh, very attractive right now in the workplace. So if you're in a job that you don't like, that treats you bad, that disrespects you, I don't care where you are in the world, um, maybe not 100% of the world locations, but a good portion of the major countries, okay? If you're in a position um, where you're not being treated fairly, respectfully, you're not getting paid your due, dust off the CV, dust off the resume, rewrite it, write it with your best potentials put forth and put yourself on the marketplace. This is the worker's uh, dream right now. We can all put ourselves on the marketplace and in many cases, you're going to trade up without having done anything except for just apply. Make hay while the sun shines. Do not stay in your crappy job just because you're afraid to get your CV, your resume out, or to put in an application somewhere. Trade up, trade up, trade up, okay? I don't care where you work. I don't care if you work in the bottom rung of the bottom of the industry, you can trade up, okay? So everybody needs to be taking advantage of this. It's sort of like musical chairs. Uh, we're all gonna be running around finding those chairs. And if you wait too long, you might be the person standing that doesn't get a chair, right? So dust off your resume, get out that new hour, go buy a new outfit and get out there and start interviewing, okay? Um, that's number one. You're going to make more money. You're going to have more success. You're going to be able to be respected. Now, don't um, underestimate the fact that this is getting employers' attention. They have all raised their hourly rates, trying to keep people in their jobs. Even the minimum wage quote unquote workers are getting pay raises of two and three dollars an hour. If you're not getting a pay raise of two dollars an hour, it's time for you to move on. <laughs> it's time for you to move on, okay? Uh, it's there for you. Please go out and make the money. Now, they are saying, and I think this is true, that our increased inflation is kind of eating away at those wage gains, and that's very true. Um, but it's still better than nothing. When the inflation drops down, you're still going to be making $2 more an hour and that's what counts. Okay. So in any industry, uh, you guys, if you want to retool, if you don't like your career, you don't like the industry you're in, what are you waiting for? Go out and get a new skill set. Trade up. I'm telling you, this is the time. This is the time workers have for once in probably since the 50s, workers really have the power here. And please don't waste it. Take this opportunity to make haste and really uh, trade up your skills, trade up your job, trade up your money in your bank account, okay? So that's something. Now I wanna also talk about, now this is more global, and this is really important. So this would be also for people that have kids that are, uh, going into the workforce or going into college, or if you yourself are, are thinking about retooling your career, uh, this is for you. Um, right now, uh, the Omicron is basically taking China out of commission. Okay, this is bad because China is the world's maker of things. They make everything. They're our factory. They're the world's factory. So, um, we are suffering. We can't get chips for our cars. Uh, we can't get, uh, we can't buy refrigerators. I mean, it's just crazy, right? Um, we have all the parts except for some one thing that we need that happens to be made in China. Now, let me tell you something. Manufacturers have taken note. This whole pandemic has changed the way we work and it will change the way we continue to work. Most importantly, it will change the way 
businesses operate. It'll change the way they, it'll change where they put their factories. Okay, forget it. China is out. Omicron is taking them down because their vaccine doesn't work well against this strain. They have limped along. They've done okay. I mean, okay, let's face it. We're, we're in dire straits without their products. But now you can expect things to get worse. I'm sorry to say that. It's, it's bad news. It's bad news. I mean, a, a lot of different companies in different countries are going to suffer because of this. And I'll give you an example. Uh, this morning, I just heard that apparently General Motors in the United States has always been the number one car seller in the United States. Who knew? I had no idea. Until now. Toyota beat them. Why did Toyota beat, beat General Motors? Well, they got a better product. Well, no, that happens. To, that's not it. Um, the reason they beat General Motors and every other car maker is because Toyota has a long history of stockpiling chips. Those computer chips that run our whole vehicle. Toyota, for whatever reason, has always stockpiled them. Well, guess what you can't get out of China right now? Chips. So Toyota sold more cars because they have more cars to sell. Okay, brilliant, right? Do you think our industries are going to look at that and say, uh, we need to maybe diversify where we get our parts, right? This is a great big lesson for industry all across the world. And they're going to do that. What does that mean? Oh, well, it also means that these companies are going to come back to the United States and they're going to say, well, what would you give us if we moved our factory back here? Well, of course, they're going to give them everything. No taxes, uh, no unions. They're going to give them everything they want. They're going to roll out the red carpet. You know, basically, you can come here and, and get... Well, I mean, it's going to be way more expensive labor, but... For workers, it's going to be jobs. I mean, it, it's a look. It's it's a balancing thing. I know no unions. That's I get it. I get it. I'm just telling you what they tell me. That's all. I am just a translator. That's all I am. But it is going to bring jobs back here because these companies are going to want to have at least five or ten percent of their of their inventory made here in the United States because. What did Toyota beat GM by 10%? 10%. They got 10% more sales simply because they had those chips in a warehouse somewhere where they could get to them. So you can understand, it doesn't take a rocket scientist or a spirit guide to tell you that these companies are going to be like, we need to have 5 or 10% of our operations within reach so that we know our government is doing the right thing that we can put pressure on our government to get the right vaccine. We can put pressure on our government to make sure that um, we, you know, get the trans the transportation moving again, right? Biden literally three weeks before Christmas went to the um, the shipping the um, port of L.A., Los Angeles, which is the number one shipping port, and said, "What do you guys have to do?" Got with the Teamsters. Asked them to work 24-hour shifts, and they did it. Biden is the reason your stuff arrived for Christmas. Period. End of story. So now if these companies realize that they could put pressure on a president and get their product to their consumer, thereby making that money, it's worth it for them to pay more to make the product for a certain percentage. So you're going to see more industries coming back to the United States. That's good news. Also, a bunch of new manufacturing is going to Mexico. And I mean a bunch. They just told me 15% increase in manufacturing in Mexico. Mexico is, all that manufacturing happens right across the border from the United States. And um, it's a simple, you know, tr semi-truck drive across the border and boom, you're delivering product. So you're going to see countries like Mexico really do quite well for themselves. You're also going to see some more manufacturing in Canada. 
Um, not that much, but yes, some. Um, Canada, they're telling me, is going to be making strides in, um, I, it looks green, it looks like lasers, it looks like electronics. I don't know what that is, but it, it, I'm seeing like boards, circuit boards maybe. Um, I think Canada is going to carve out its niche in some very high um, scientific manufacturing, okay? So uh, that is likely to happen more on the east uh, part of Canada. Um, also, you know, like Montreal, Toronto, that area over there. I feel like there's going to be synergy between Canada and the United States. Uh, I believe that there's going to be synergy. Um, uh, maybe the, maybe the Canadians will be making these chips, right? And, and shipping those chips right across the border to Detroit, to the car makers, right? I mean, this is what I meant when I did a video However many months ago when the guides told me that it was called Biden's New World Order. Boy, people freaked out about that. To them, it sounded like Biden was turning into, you know, the Gestapo or the Nazis or something. But no, what he did was, and he's continued to do it since then, is go to these countries that are like-minded and work together. So for instance, we joined with Australia against China, right? We will join with Canada. You know, we have to make friendly uh, trade packs is what they're saying. Friendly trade packs. In other words, um, friendly as far as physical location. Friendly as far as we are good neighbors, <laughs> you know. Um, so those, so that, and, and yes, exactly. Good neighbors, Australia um, and the United States, right? Um we Biden has done a masterful job of going to other countries and saying, hey, there's a bully, China. What are we going to do? How can we create a secondary market, right? China owns the market, but let's create a secondary market where we can get some of these products and not be beholden to this big behemoth. Now, at the same time, if you take the fact that Omicron is destabilizing China, destabilizing their workforce, destabilizing their society. And let me add to you, I said this yesterday to a client of mine because I, I read an article about this, but this is all coming to me from my guides. I don't talk this fast. I don't, and I don't know this much, <laughs> but China is undergoing the same thing that we all are in that their younger workers are not working. Look it up. It's called laying down disease laying down laying down disease like i was like what is going on I had a picture of all these chinese people laying down i'm like what's going on well they don't want to work they don't want to work in the high stress or the physically demanding uh fa manufacturing so you know what they're dropping out just like americans and a lot of other people from other countries they would rather deliver food on bike than have a stable job at a factory. They're done. They're done with climbing that ladder. They're done with um, getting, you know, they're done with being treated poorly as a worker. They're done with being treated poorly as a worker. It's exactly what I just said about Americans. If you want a new job, go get it because employers are now having to do what they can to keep you and to hire you. I'm telling you guys, if you add some skills to your skill set, you are going to not go up one rung. You're going to go up three rungs. If you add skills to your skill set and you show up for work every day and you don't start trouble and you get your job done, you're going to rise very, very quickly. What does that mean? If you do that, if you rise three rungs in three years, your earning potential over the course of 10 years, exponential exponential we're talking about all the difference in the world we're talking about owning your house and paying it off when you retire we're talking about a whole different thing here we're really talking about the 1950s all over again when people could own a house go on vacation have a car you know stay home and watch the kids that's what we're talking about because you want to know why workers are fed up they would much rather not have the money than to have the crappy job Take that, capitalism. 
So, and I'm a capitalist, of course, I have my own business for 23 years, but I also believe that you need to treat people well. You need to treat people well. Um, so what else do they want to tell you? I know this is, I told you it's like a fire hose. This is what I'm saying. I knew I needed to drop everything that I was planning to do this morning and do this video because when I'm connected like this, I just need to get it out. If I don't, the energy sort of goes by and I don't, it's hard to get it to come back um, in this way. So I just wanted to get it out to you. I have no idea what I have said because I'm literally basically just light channeling this information. So I, when I do these videos, I don't know if I've just been talking gibberish. I have no idea. Um, I'm going to go back to them. I'm going to drink my coffee because it really is early in the morning. I'm going to go back to them. And, and that grounds you. When you drink, that disconnects you from spirit and brings you back down to earth. When you eat, same thing. Um, anything else I need to tell these wonderful people about it? They're just saying this is your time okay okay right 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 okay so they want to this is your time let's not miss that uh point this is your time now what they just told me is there's a lot of people that i i know i'm hearing you say but it can't be for me because i've got to do this it can't be for me because i got to do that it can't be for me okay look this is not going to end the, this opportunity is not going to be over in three months. It's not going to be over in eight months. It's a lot better opportunity right now. If you can start action towards this, it's better to start now. But you can do this in two months. You can do this in three months. Now, what does two or three months mean? Why wait? Why would you be saying, I can't do it right now? Well, because the United States is also struggling with Omicron. Um, so is everybody for that matter. The difference is our vaccines actually work. <laughs> so, um, yes, people are having breakthrough, um, infections. I, I think maybe I got a light dose of it. I don't know. Um, but the difference here is that you're not going to die if you've been vaccinated. Okay. Yes. People are still going to be crossing over. And I'm sorry to tell you, people are going to be crossing over in large numbers because they will not get vaccinated and they are high risk. They've already got some pre-existing health conditions. Okay. Yes, that is all going to happen. Yes. The next two months are going to look pretty crazy. Flat out going to tell you the next two months, the next six weeks specifically are going to look pretty dire. Um, but it's just a flash in the pan, meaning that it's going to surge and then it's going to retreat as quickly as it surges. Um, it's going to leave scars. It's going to leave scars on our psyche. It's going to leave scars on our community. It's going to leave scars on family. I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry about that. That is going to happen. It is not going to change anything about the job market. Okay. So if you can, if you cannot get out in the job market for three months because of Omicron or let's say two months, um, then wait it out. Do what you have to do. Take care of you. Okay. Do not put yourself at risk for money. It's not worth it. We already know that. That's why nobody wants a job. That's why nobody's working. It's not worth it. Right. So what can you do in this next two months? You can improve your skill set. Yeah, hardcore. These these guides are hardcore. They're like, look, this is your opportunity. Don't complain to us that that you you know have a crappy job or a crappy life when here is your opportunity. Okay, so they're telling you add a skill set. What is the skill set? If it's not a skill set, want to know what they want you to add? Happiness. Raise your vibration. Spend this time raising your vibration because. If you raise your vibration, you will be on a vibratory level with really good things that you really want, right? If your vibration is down here and everything you want is up here, it's not going to work, right? So raise your vibration so that when we do have the ability to go out and do things, 
whether it's get a new job, get a new mate, get a new house, move across the country, whatever it is, whatever those things are that you want that are up here, that aren't working because you're down here, let's make sure that in those two months or one month, I mean, six weeks to two months, that you raise your vibration up so when you're able to get out and do those things because the virus is contained again, that they're there for you. They're there for you, okay? So there's lots of, you know, this has been like a whole course <laughs> in how to really upgrade your life, whether it be your money in your bank account, your work life, or your happiness, which affects everything. Your happiness affects your kids, it affects your parents, it affects your spouse, it affects your organs, it affects your energy, and it actually does affect your money and your job. Because if you're happier and you're just pumping up here at this vibration, when you put that resume out, even if you didn't do anything to improve your skill set, you're going to get that job that's up here too. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you're depressed and you're down here, it's going to be hard to get to this thing that you want to get. Now, I understand that depression is a, a medical condition. I've been depressed before. I'm not saying nothing about that. You can get medication, but you can also do a lot of things within your own life to raise your vibration, which will lessen the depression. Okay? I know what I'm talking about. Okay? So, how do you raise your vibration? I've done a lot of videos on that. <laughs> I've done at least two videos recently on happiness. Uh, watch them. They're free, right? You got time. Avail yourself of all the resources out there that every single video that's out there on YouTube that says, how can you raise your vibration? Follow those things, right? Go pay attention, listen to it, and just give it a chance. Give it a chance, okay? Is there anything else they want to talk about? Uh, manufacturing boom. They're talking about a manufacturing boom. Here in the United States, we're going to be bringing manufacturing back. Um, that is going to... Uh, I'm just going to, um, you may not be watching this for the politics, but I'm just going to flat out tell you I'm a Democrat, <laughs> but, um, but I'm going to tell you that, um, you know, look, uh, politics are changing. Liz Cheney is going to be in charge of the Republican party, or she's going to be in charge of the new Republican party. Don't care what anybody says about that. That's going to happen. She's going to bring that party right back to the middle of America. Why? Well, because she happens to believe in democracy but also because that's where the money is. That is where the money is. These people, these business people have learned a hard lesson. They went for that cheap labor in those other countries and they understand now that they have no control, no control of their product, no control at all. If they bring that back here to the good old USA or to Canada or to Europe or wherever you happen to be watching this from, as the guides said, they can go to that prime minister, they could go to that to that you know president or even the governor, and they could say, hey, we're a big producer of jobs here. We need you to get that port open and we need to get that product here. And that's what they said to Biden and Biden went and did it. So they've learned a lesson. It's better to have some portion of their manufacturing in a country that is where they sell their products. So you can see manufacturing is going to be coming back to countries everywhere. Ireland, Britain, um, Canada, Australia, United States, Mexico. Um, just get ready, y'all. Get ready. Now, okay, another thing I need to tell you. Okay, this was back when they said that, um, when they said that this was for people that wanted a new skill set or maybe people that were going to college or maybe people that were in uh, school, but we're getting ready to start a career. Okay, when they talk about getting a new skill set, one of the things they're talking about is that uh, when this manufacturing comes back, we need um, highly skilled workers. We need workers that can work with robotics. We need workers that, that are highly skilled, okay? So look at your community college. Look at your local 
university or college or whatever it is, wherever you live, and look at the programs that they offer that would really help a manufacturer, okay? It's not about worker bees anymore. It's about smart worker bees, people that have skills, okay? Go avail yourself of those skills. Um, learn how uh, to do um, the skills that they're just showing me so many different things. Like for instance, here on the Gulf Coast of Texas, we have a lot of oil refineries. Of course, that's going out. Um, but right now, we have people that can get a two-year degree and make $100,000 a year. For real. So find out what's in your community. Go talk to your local uh, universities and colleges. Go talk to your, um, if you have a reasonable politician, if you have a reasonable um representative or senator or politician, ask them what they're doing to bring jobs to the state and ask them what types of, of industry may be coming. What types of industry are you pitching to bring to our state, right? Tennessee brought Toyota, I think. They, those people need, they just need higher skilled and higher skilled and higher skilled workers. Go get those skills. Be prepared to be a higher skilled worker. You'll make more money, especially if you're going into the workforce. Um, those wages are going to really go up. Those wages are going to go up 20% because as I just looked into that energy, I basically looked into a worker, John Q, Jane Q worker. I looked at her and I said, what is she doing? Well, she doesn't, he doesn't want to be on an assembly line uh, with cranky knees and, uh, you know, just people aren't cut out for that. So, um, they really would rather stay home. Seriously, they would rather stay home. You can expect the government to do more for healthcare. The government is going to do more for healthcare in the United States. In Canada, you guys need to fight for what you have to keep it because the privateering is really nicking, whacking away at your, um, they just told me this is also happening in Europe, in Britain, I think. Uh, but so your, your um, health care that is provided by your country is getting somewhat eroded. Um, but in our case, there is no more erosion that can happen. We are already flatlined in our health care. So in our case, what's going to happen is we're going to have Medicare for all, period. The... Um, the insurance companies are going to want to cherry pick those people that can afford to pay. And guess what? Because our country is really in poor health, they're not going to want to insure all of us anyway. So once the government makes some big changes to the Affordable Care Act, um, that's when it's going to it's, they just show me it flipping over, right? And then um, these companies saying, no, we don't want any of this. You take, you take all those Americans that are in poor health. We don't want them. <laughs> um, and then that's big changes in health care. That's a whole nother video. But um, what else do I need to tell you? Have hope. Have hope. They want to tell you to have hope. This is a time of really good changes happening. Maybe hard to see at this exact moment. But that's why... You prepare now for all of the good things that are coming. So you really have to keep your frame of mind in a hopeful, bright, positive light. Because our words, our thoughts are like real things. They, they come out of our mouth and they live forever. Our thoughts come out of our head and they live forever. They don't just, they're, they're energy. It's energy. You're releasing energy. So when you talk bad about yourself, that's really hurtful to you. When you talk about, about, about other people, that's hurtful to them. So that's all part of raising your vibration. So if you are depressed, if you are sad, if you're upset, then I need to tell you this. Stop looking at all the bad things. Stop. I do the same thing. Okay. I do the same thing. 
as an empathic person, I wake up, I feel terrible. Why do I feel terrible? I don't know. I have a sense of impending doom. Why do I have that? I don't know. I look around my house. Nothing's wrong here. Nothing's wrong with me. Nothing's wrong with my family. Guess what? That's not my energy. I'm able to feel it. I'm able to feel it because I'm an empathic person. But it's not my energy. So you just push it out of your energy sphere. Say a prayer for that. Say a prayer for whoever that's affecting. But it's not affecting you unless you let it. If you let it affect you, it will tear you down. It will make you depressed. It will make you miss all the magic, all the wonderful things that could be happening to you. Because that's not your vibration. Your vibration is fine. But you're allowing this other vibration to come in and affect your vibration. That's a shame. Okay? Now, if you go out looking for it, if you watch the news all the time, if you listen to everything bad that's happening in the world, you are going to wreck your vibration. Is that your stuff? Is the fact that the former guy is doing this, or this person is doing that, or this is, ha- is that, is that affecting you? Right now, in your body, in this house, in this room, in this chair, is that affecting you? Personally. No, it's not. I know you're saying, but it does affect me because I can't vote. And then the state, and then I know, I know. But I'm telling you, you've got to start where you stand in your human body. Raise your vibration. Let all of that go. Say a prayer for it. Pray fervently. And then let it go. Because if you raise your vibration in your body, in this meat suit, sitting in this chair, in this room, in this city, in this state, you will send out a beautiful white energy wave that will actually do more good for all the things you just said that you're worried about, that your state, that your senator, that your prime minister, that your neighbor, that your daughter, that your boss, All those things that are weighing on you. If you instead send out a beautiful, energetic, high vibration. Those things are going to benefit from that. They're going to actually get a benefit from your beautiful high vibration. And if you continue to worry about all of that, you're not helping anybody. You're not helping them. You're not helping yourself. If you can flip that around and instead let the worry go and then send a prayer out and then let the universe deal with it and raise your vibration and spread it out, you're actually sending love and light all out from your body, your room, your house. And it goes with you. So when you go to the store, when you go to school, when you go to work, you're actually affecting in a positive way everybody you come into contact with. So that's really a much better way of changing all of that. Imagine if all of us, imagine if even 20%, 20% of us in your town, in your city, in your country. Imagine if 20% of you guys, if we all walked around with a higher vibration, wouldn't that change things? Wouldn't that soften people's anger? Wouldn't that soften people's worries? Isn't that a better way to change everything and to have an effect on our surroundings and on our own physical health? So hopefully this has been helpful for you. Um, Again, I do these videos to help you. Please let me know in the comments if you have any comments about this. Um, And um, I really want you, I want to see your light shine. I want to see your light shine. We need your light. The world needs your light. 
So hopefully you can go out there and trade up your job. You can get a new skill set. You can raise your vibration and you can really make a difference. You know, that's really making a difference in this world. So thank you so much for watching Susan Lynn, Psychic Medium. If you would like to join me on this journey, please subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. And um, it really will help my videos pop into your newsfeed. If you don't do that, then you know you may never see me again. Now, how hard would that be? <laughs> if you're still watching, I'm pretty sure that uh, either you've left the computer and gone uh, to go do the laundry or something, or uh, maybe you're still watching. So if you are, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I send my love and my light to you. Take care and be well.